Cartesian Enterprise. Here at the Cartesian Enterprise, we help to educate the Cartesian farmers on how to start in the Cartesian business and on how to scale up in the Cartesian business. So for those new into the channel, hit on the subscribe button, turn up your notification because various videos are coming out that is going to guide you in the journey in the Cartesian business. So if you are starting out in the Cartesian business, you have interest in the business, here is the right channel for you to give you that guide to train you through the process in the Cartesian business. Now for you to venture into any business, knowledge is paramount to avoid losses. You must acquire the relevant knowledge before you enter the business. Most persons in the business today have been making losses. They are not meeting up in the business because one, they lack the knowledge aspect in the business. Now it takes technical know-how to scale up in any business you want to go into. So that's why we are here to give you the practical guide every farmer needs to scale up in the cartesian business. So go to the channel. We have various videos we have done ready from the type of feeding, type of pawn, the cost of feeding that will guide you. It's very interesting. So go to the channel, you can like and you can share with friends. So today we are still dropping another teaching guide and we are looking at the F. CR, which is the food conversion ratio, the food conversion ratio. Now, the food conversion ratio is the amount of feed required to produce one kilogram of fish or one unit of fish. Now, what is the amount of feed used to produce a kilogram of fish? So that is the food conversion ratio. So there's a calculation that, that we are going to be doing shortly on how to calculate the food conversion ratio. Now, what does the food conversion ratio tell us? It tells us a lot of things. Now, it tells us first the performance of the feed. Now, is this feed I'm giving them, is it a good feed? So, the food Secondly, conversion ratio, the FCR, which is the food conversion ratio, tells us the performance of those feeding the fishes. Let's say your workers in the farm. Now, how do they feed your fishes? Are they wasting? Does more of your feed goes into wastage? So, the food conversion ratio also gives us that clue. How are my workers performing in terms of feeding? Are they feeding the fish rightly? Are they wasting my feed? Are they even stealing the feed I gave them to use on the farm? So with the food conversion ratio, you can know that. And lastly, it talks about the cost effectiveness of the feed. Now, in the, today's market, a lot of farmers are complaining on the high cost of feeding. So the food conversion ratio tells of the cost effectiveness of a particular feed. Now, there are fees that are very expensive. There are ones that are least expensive. Let's say maybe locally produced feed. Now, with the food conversion ratio, you might now know is the difference in costs. Does there, is this significant to their size? Does it really affect the size? Let's say I'm, I'm buying two, I have two different types of feed and this is very expensive. This is least expensive. So now, when checking the food conversion ratio, I now know, okay, does the expensive one does it convert higher or lower than the cheaper one so what's the difference in the conversion ratio so it now helps me to, to know if i'm going for the higher feed or for this other feed so it gives me the cost effectiveness of a particular kind of feed so it, it helps me inform my decisions and okay which type of feed am i sticking to and which one am i not using and lastly it gives us a clue on how much we spend per fish so how, if we do the calculation, we we'll see that, okay, how much do I spend to produce one fish? So in terms of selling, I know how much per fish is worth. So it helps me in my selling or during the time of harvest. So we'll go into the calculation on how to calculate the food conversion ratio and also to calculate how much you spend per fish. So, so we are looking at the calculation for the feed conversion ratio. So calculating the feed or the food conversion ratio, as we may call it, now, in calculating the food conversion ratio, you should understand the amount of feed given and the amount of fishes, the body weight of the fishes during the harvest time. Now, the FCR is an indicator for the performance of the feed. How well did the feed that you are giving you gave the fishes? How well did it perform for them? also to understand how well your, your feeding techniques is 
Now, if more of the feeds go went into wastage, of the, you won't get a good food conversion ratio. Now, also, you want to know the cost effectiveness of the feed, as I explained earlier, to know if this if the difference in cost of two different feed is it significant or not. So, use your food conversion ratio to check that. Now, in calculating the food conversion ratio, we have a formula that we can use to ascertain that. Now, which is the FCR, which is the total amount of food given or the feed you give the fishes, divided by the total amount of fish produced. Now, the feed you use during the production cycle and the, um, the weight of the fish at the harvest cycle. So, it gives you your food conversion ratio. And from this, we can now determine how much we spend to feed per kg of the fish. So how much have you spent to feed per kg of the fish? So this informs your decision when you want to sell the fish. So it gives you a, 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 a knowledge on okay how much you are selling your fishes at a given time, once you understand the food conversion ratio. So we are taking an example today. So we are looking at... Now, if at the end of a production cycle, a total of 160 kg of fish are harvested from a pond, and a total of 200 kg of feed was used during the production cycle, so how much feed used to produce each kg of fish? So, now, during your production cycle, you used 200 kg of fish to feed, that was what you used. Now, during the time of the harvest, it was 150 kg you are getting. So you want to know, now you want to sell, you want to know, okay, how much have you spent to get to 1 kg for your fishes? So how much is per kg, how much is the, the cost of per kg in your hand? So knowing this will now help you determine how much you sell per kg in your area. So firstly, we'll first of all understand, okay, what is the food conversion ratio? The, or the feed conversion ratio, as some may call it. Now, once we calculate that, from there, we will now determine how much a feed or how much we have spent to raise the fishes to per kg. Now, we'll make use of our formula. We said the FRC will be 200 kg, as I said earlier, which is the total amount of feed during production. Now, divided by the 160 kg of fish. Now, for the 160 kg, remember, during our, when we stocked, the fish in the pond, they had a width. Now, if the fishes we stock, we are 10 kg, so we minus the 10 kg from the 160 kg we have realized. So we look at 200 kg divided by the 150 kg. Now, it will give us approximately 1.3. So 1.3. So we we'll have the 1.3 as our FCR value. So now this means that a total of 1.3 kg was used to produce a kilogram of fish. So if you want to get a kilogram of fish, you know you spend 1.3 kg of feed on every kg of the fish. So now that's what you spend. So unless we want to see, know, okay, how much have we spent? Are we spent in? raising per fish so we know it's 1.3 kg so how much have we spent so the next calculation we are looking at is the amounts we have spent so that if a kilogram of feed costs 500 naira so how much did you cost to produce one kg of fish now and to understand that we have to look at a food conversion ratio multiplied by the value for the fishes so check out the food conversion ratio and we'll multiply, multiply it by the amount we spend per fish. So the amount of feed required to produce a kg, which is the FRO fee, times the unit cost of the feed. 1.3, which is the FRO fee, multiplied by 500 mm. naira that we buy per kg, which is, will give us the sum of 650 naira. So that means we spent 650 naira to raise a kg of fish. So we spent 650 naira for us to raise a kg of fish. That's what is telling us that for you to get a kg of fish, you spend 600 naira to do that. So next, 650 naira to get 
to a kg of fish. So that means 650 naira was spent on to feed or produce one kg of fish. So do well to subscribe to our channel, like and share with friends. We have more videos that can guide you in the catfish farm business. Thank you.